Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert and delete merge fields in your mail merge publications as the need arises. This can occur if you have fields in your publication that no longer contain relevant data, or if you collect new data that needs to be included in your publication. To remove a merge field from your publication, select the entire merge field that you want to delete. Now, if you have a single text containing shape with multiple merge fields in it like we do here, you can click the merge field inside of the text containing shape that you wish to delete to select it, and then simply click the delete key on your keyboard. It's really that easy. Inserting new merge fields is nearly as easy as deleting them. First, you'll need to place your insertion mark at the place within the text box, merge field, or other text containing shape where you want the merge field to be inserted. Let's go ahead and say we want to put the company name back in that spot right there. We'll put our insertion point right there. Click the Insert Merge Field drop-down button in the Write and Insert Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. Then select the name of the field that you want to insert into your publication from the button's drop-down list of field name choices. We'll select Company Name. The merge field will be inserted into the text containing shape at the position that you indicated. If you had no shape in your publication page, then Publisher will simply add a merge field text box into which it will place that merged field. If you're performing a simple mailing and are using a data source with address information, you may prefer to use an address block or greeting line that is created by Publisher. This just speeds up the placement of multiple merge fields in a publication. However, for this feature to work effectively, you should ensure that the field names in your data source are matched to the fields available in Publisher. If you use the data source created in Publisher, then this will be the case. However, if using an external data source, such as a list in an Excel spreadsheet, then you may first need to match the field name in Publisher to the field names in your list before you can effectively use either the address block or greeting line buttons in the Write and Insert Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. So to match the field in your data source with Publisher, you click either the address block or the greeting line buttons in the Write and Insert Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. So let's click Address Block, for example. Then click the Match Fields button in either of the dialog boxes. This will open the Match Fields dialog box. Here, you can identify which field in your data source matches each piece of information that Publisher may need by selecting the name of the data source field from the drop-down menu for each type of data shown. Now, if the field is unavailable, simply leave it set at Not Matched. Once you have matched the data source in Publisher, you can then click the OK button to set it. So for example, first name, if this was called something else, you could select it from the list and choose it there. Again, if you have something that's not matched, like country or region, then you just leave it as not matched. But once you're done, you just click OK. And we'll click OK again to close that dialog box. Now, if you have matched your data fields in Publisher, or if you are simply using the default list provided when you create a new data source in Publisher, then you can click the Address Block button in the Write and Insert Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon to open the Insert Address dialog box. And here you can check which elements you want to include in the Address Block by checking and clearing the checkboxes in the Specify Address Elements section. So let's do that. Let's remove these merge fields, and we'll go up and click on Address Block here. So here, on the left-hand side, we can select which of the options we want. You'll see a preview over on the right-hand side how that's going to be displayed. Once you're finished, you just click OK, 
and it will insert the address block for you. Now we could go up here and preview the results and you'll see what that would look like. Now likewise, you can click the greeting line button in the Write and Insert Fields group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon in order to open the Insert Greeting Line dialog box right here. In this dialog box, you can use the drop-down buttons that are available to set the appearance of the greeting line field for your publication. So you would use this for something like a letter, obviously. You can also set what to insert into the greeting line field if the record that you are merging doesn't have a valid recipient name. So for example, greeting line for invalid recipient names, dear sir or madam, to whom it may concern if that doesn't exist in there. And then you could click OK at that point to insert a greeting line. We'll go ahead and click Cancel for right now. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.